when the video starts, um, there will be some uh, things, so step one, step two, etc. on fitting the Alco Secure. If you look in the description below, there will be a step-by-step -step guide in words to support those numbers. So it will be step one, which is, for saying sake, lock the lock. Okay. Hi guys and welcome back. Today we're talking about Alco Secure on a twin axle. So, because our driveway is restrictive and actually we have to have it in the same place every time, we have to line the front wheel up only. So, as you can see, that yellow cap is exactly in the middle of our front wheel. That's the dust cap that keeps the whole, the receiver, nice and tidy. So I'm sat here once the caravan's reversed in to make sure that's lined up, alright? So what then I then do is I pull the handbrake on and undo the gator. So that means caravan is rock solid on the on the driveway. What I'm going to do now is fit the front lock and I'm going to show you that right now. So let's fit it. So the Alco Secure comes in a bag and you get the lock kit. We've labelled ours. Get the receiver. Ours is number 22 which fits the our alloy wheel. You get a wrench with a bit on the end to take that off get your Alco Secure card, some instructions and a kneeling mat. Alright, so first job is to actually take the yellow cap off and this lives in the box there. So what we do is we undo this using the spanner provided, unscrew it, unscrew it and that as you can see uncovers the hole and that as you can see lives in its little space in the box. Now we're going to then set the lock up. So we take this threaded screw, and it goes in there, and we take the locking bolt, goes in there, and we line everything up till it clicks. The bolt then lines up, and we fasten it up. Now you start hand tight. You start just using your hand, threading it up, like so. Then, not too tight, but use the, uh, the bolt just to tighten it up. Take this bolt back into there. Take your lock and keys. Unlock the bolt so that the, uh, the balls are in. Insert the lock, hold the lock, test the key and pull out. Now on some models you do have a dust cap, and ours doesn't have this. But my secure system can't see one wheel bolt, and that's right into the chassis. Now, now because we've got a double axle and we haven't got a motor mover or even a lock and level system, we have to jack our caravan up because this one is not in the right place. So obviously, usual jacking. Make sure the car's hooked up, the caravan handbrake's on, and the next job I need to do is go and just put some. We've got some bricks on the other side. And I just brick the wheels up that side just to stop it moving any anymore. So come along with me and we'll brick that side up. Breeze blocks, nothing too special. Front and behind the wheels. Just means that they won't move. there. We don't use chocks, we just use that. There we are. Nice and safe. That's the jacking point we're about to use. And the jack sits up in there. So we can lift the back of the caravan. This is the jack we use. So the Alcos has a jack which is rated to uh, two tons or two thousand kilos. And this is the jack. Um, it's demonstrated by Dad. And it's the Alco scissor type. And to wind it up, we use this piece here with a hook on the end. And it quite simply hooks onto the jack and you can twist it. So let's jack the caravan up. So as you can see. Dad is so find it in place like so and it's the same process as before remove the yellow cap set the lock up is 
bag here. The bolt out. Get the set out. Set it all up. In total, this takes us what 15 minutes to do. Yeah, probably about that. Doesn't it really? It's, uh, about that. By the time we've uh, fiddled around with it and whatever. So now that's in place, it's, it's going to go and knock the handbrake on. Before I tighten it up anymore. There we go. Handbrake's done up now. And then that means I can just nip it up and tighten it. Lovely. And then that could be replaced back in there. The yellow dust cap in there. The yellow dust cap lives in there as well. And I take my locking bolt and the keys and insert. That's important to put your finger on it and lock it. That means it doesn't spin. It makes it hard for a thief to remove. And that is Alco Secure fitted to a twin axle caravan. Um, I'm going to go and get it hooked. And then I'm going to show you the hitch lock that also we use on our caravan too. So, but next job though, unfortunately, is to remove the jack. And then I'm going to do this because Dad's wound it up. And it doesn't take too long to wind it down. But remember, you have to remember to put your handbrake back on. It's a good jack, this. Sports the caravan. It's one of Alco's better ones. It seems like this is a better one than their side lift reversion. Because this is a bit older. And it just comes off now, and that is out of the jack. That just draw that out. And wind it down. Job done. Job done. So, right. So we've used our Alco Secure, now you're going to want a hitch lock. And we use the Alco one. And you take the safety ball, it goes into the hitch like that, and it locks in there. So that means nobody could nick the uh, thing by putting a smaller toe ball in. So operate the hitch lock, get some keys, which are in my pocket, unlock the lock, like so. And then it goes over the hitch like so goes in and then you take your keys again key goes in the lock slide it forward turn the key in give it a bit of a wiggle so these are quite tight fitting that's good it goes in twists back lock cover goes over and then stabilizer the handle goes down remember to give it a thumbs up please subscribe and if you have remember to hit the notification button so, see you in the next video, guys. All right, cheers. See you soon. Bye.